As the farm crisis of the 1980s intensified, Iowa State University Extension and Outreach was looking for a way to better understand the situation farmers found themselves in. From that search for information, the Iowa Farm and Rural Life Poll was born in 1982. When I arrived here in 1981, it was very clear to me that Iowa agriculture was undergoing lots of changes and there was a need for us to better understand those changes, not only in terms of what it meant for farm families in rural communities, but how that might inform policy choices. The poll seeks to provide timely and relevant information on agriculture and rural life in the state. Each year, about 2,000 surveys are distributed requesting a snapshot of current agricultural practices, attitudes, and opinions. Part of the land-grant philosophy is not only to take information to farmers and the dissemination, but also to collect information from farmers to help direct our research and extension programming to help identify high-priority needs facing farm families across the state. The longest-running survey of its kind, the Iowa Farm and Rural Life Poll, provides a collective voice for Iowa farmers when they needed it most. There are a number of organizations and agencies that at the time claim to speak on behalf of Iowa farmers, but there was no random sample of Iowa farmers, so each group could, could accurately reflect their membership preferences, but there wasn't a statewide uh, systematic assessment of the opinions, attitudes, values, and behaviors of Iowa farmers. And so therefore we decided to create a statewide poll uh, that would be reflective of the diversity of Iowa agriculture. While each poll presents new questions to the anonymous producers year after year, a number of questions are repeated over time to track change. The benefits of measuring perspectives and attitudes and behaviors over time is that we can really track how the agricultural sector is changing, how certain behaviors, um, knowledge, awareness of, of issues and problems changes over time. This is really critical to the, the partners and stakeholders that we work with, who in turn work with farmers, because they need to know where farmers are in order to reach them where they are on a given issue. ISU Extension and Outreach works closely with industry stakeholders to develop questions for the poll. So I think the farm poll's longevity and relevance depends largely on the way we work with stakeholders. All of them work with farmers. They have research questions that, um, that we can help them answer. And so we develop survey questions uh, for the farm poll that help them in turn work more effectively with their farmer clients. The Iowa Farm and Rural Life Poll's information is not only helpful to guide ISU extension and outreach efforts, but also to assist industry partners looking for a way to work with farmers more effectively. So for conservation professionals, the Iowa Farm Rural Life Pool is incredibly valuable. That information helps us target and expand the delivery of conservation resources and technical assistance. The poll's benefits aren't reserved for those working within agriculture. I think the farm poll has a number of impacts on uh, Iowa's general population. Of course, we, we recognize how important the agricultural economy is to Iowa's economy overall. Uh, and I think one of our main objectives in the farm poll is to contribute to the long-term maintenance and improvement of agricultural productivity. Understanding the thoughts and opinions of farmers can help shape future research and education. This then can provide ways to improve the state we all share. Humans are in charge of making changes to the land to improve our environment and to improve on-farm conditions and to improve yields. And so um, that connection is so important and that's what his work does through the poll and beyond is it brings that connection of uh, the research with what we know um, and then also with how people feel and react and what they need to make those decisions.